guys, what's happening? Karma Kicks here, and I'm bringing you another episode on the Tree Aid server. I've been having so much fun on this server, I swear. So, last time you saw me and Dog go to the end, and let me tell you, it did not end well, <laughs> so to speak. Um, we did get lots and lots and lots of shulker boxes, but... We were out in the end, and I died a couple times. Um, I was flying back to get my stuff, and my wings wouldn't work. Uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know if we had some lag or what, but my wings would absolutely not work, and I died miserably. So I ended up losing all of my backup armor, all of my backup tools. So I actually went and made some more. So I think we're good now. Um, we do have some backup letter by wings, um, some backup jeggings and feathery boots and icy boots. So I think we're okay now. Um, pretty sure. So I can put that. Let me put that away because I don't need that right now. And I made some backup uh, tools as well. Um, we now have another trident, so that's kind of cool. We have a backup trident, and we have a backup sword as well. So the one we've got on us is pretty cool. It's got sharpness 5, looting 3, mending, knockback 2, fire aspect 2, sweeping edge 3, and of course unbreaking 3. So it's pretty cool. So we're going to go with this stuff. It took me forever to enchant all this stuff, but you know what? We, we needed some backup stuff anyway because we died before, so yeah, it's fine. We've got it all now. Um, now, I added a few things in here, like these little, it looks like fans. I really love this. It looks like fans in the side of the submarine. So it's just glazed terracotta, and I believe it's the blue, the blue um, terracotta, so that's pretty cool. Over here, I added in all of our new shocker boxes, and I also kind of went OCD mental on this, and I've got them all color-coded and numbered. So, say we want to find, um, some Podzel. There we go. Green. K20. So, we just look for the gre uh, green shocker box, go to K20, and push it in. And we want to unload stuff, because, no, it's not full. So then we just take our podzel and go about our way. And that's it. And oh, yeah, we can put it back in the system now. So all of them, like I said, are numbered, color coded. It's a very easy way to find things now. So kind of awesome. I love this. Um, over here, I have spare shulker boxes, which that's completely full, and there's some hoppers going up that have a, a little bit more in them. So we've got lots and lots of shulker boxes now. I'm not going back to the end anytime soon. Alright guys, so something else that I have done is over here, let's see, where was it? No, nope, not here. Ah! I'm lost in my own submarine. Um, it's getting very, very easy to get lost in here now. I lowered the r ceiling in this room so that we could add another room above it and be able to double the floor. So this isn't actually the floor. The next room, the next floor is that color. So I'll show you that in just a little bit. Um, in here, maybe? Nope. Was it in the captain's quarters? Yes, there we go. I added a little bit more glazed terracotta. To kind of make it nice and neat. There we go. So we've got that added in. Um, we need to figure out here if we're going to like shorten this doorway. Because the ceiling came right here. So not quite sure what I'm going to do with that yet. But we will see. I closed in the staircase that leads up to the captain's quarters. And I added another room right here. And I'm not sure, but I think I might want to extend this. This goes all the way to the map room here. And I have this room here, and then this room. So I'm not sure if I want to keep a, a little room here. Um, I don't know if this... Yeah, I did double the floor on this one, so we can add in lighting and stuff. And we need to have, like, some stairs coming up here. And... 
I don't know. Like maybe oh, we've got to figure out things we could do with these rooms or extend that room to here. I'm not sure. I kind of liked having a little extra room right here though. So I've got to get some carpets on here. I hear things burning. I hear a skeleton above my head. <laughs> um, so I need to get some gray carpets and cover up those light sources. And yeah, then we'll be ready to uh, work on these rooms. We've, we've got to figure out lighting like right now. Like that's what needs to be a thing. Um, I'm going to break one of these blocks. We need to find some carpets that'll go with uh, this color, the cyan and also the light blue terracotta. And for this room, we just need the gray carpets to cover those. So, oh, I didn't have my wings on and I tried to fly down. That didn't work. All right, so let me get out the carpets. Now that should be um, a pink one. There we go. And we'll just set these right here so we can work with them. Um, I have gray right here, so we'll use those. wonder if the cyan... Oh, that does look really good. Okay, so we'll just use the cyan carpets in there. We'll probably need some more, so let's get our wool out, too. Uh, there we go. Wool. And let's see, what color would go? Probably nothing. <laughs> I think I had white in one of the rooms. And the white really goes well with the uh, light blue terracotta. So maybe we'll try white and see if that helps. So we've got a couple of whites. We'll take that. Um, any cyan wool? Yes, we do. All right. We got 28 carpets. We're probably going to need more than that. So let's get our dye box out and our light box. I'll take some carpet with me just in case. And let's head upstairs. It is going to be really easy to get lost in here though I've noticed. I, I'm worried about when people start to come to visit <laughs> and tour the submarine because I get lost in here that means that everybody's going to so I don't know. All right, we need a gray here. So I just kind of wanted to circle that out because it kind of goes with the rest of it. And it, I needed a little extra lighting right in this area. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So yeah, that covers that entire area. This whole room is actually lit up. I don't know if I showed this off before, but it's lit up because there's actually sea lanterns behind all the maps. So every single map has a sea lantern behind it. Um, this one, actually, the whole wall is covered in sea lanterns. So kind of neat way to do it. It lit them all up. And I don't have to put torches everywhere. Now in here, I've, of course, I've got like the torch spam going on. But that's because I wasn't really sure yet what I was going to do with this room. But I think we're just going to light it up. We're going to go ahead and put some sea lanterns in the floor. Um, we need to avoid this area here because that's where we're going to have um, some stairs right in here. So maybe, I'm not sure, maybe we could do just like the corners of the room and make some kind of neat design that way. Um, I definitely got to get my sea lanterns out here. And we'll see if that lights it up enough. Um, maybe a little corner piece here. There. Oh, that is kind of neat. Um, around the stairs, we can just put one here and here. There we go. And uh, we'll check the light levels in just a little bit and make sure that this will work. There we go. And this one goes here. And then we'll do the center one again. There we go. Alright. That kind of looks like a person's eye staring at you. 
All right, let's check light levels right now. We've got an eight right here. I think it's seven and below that you can go. Let me move this. So I'm not seeing any sevens. Watch it be eight and I'm gonna have like one mob spawn in every few minutes right here. Um, since I think that's the center of the room right here, maybe we could do something like this since it is the center of the room. There we go. And we lit up the entire room. I don't think we need that there, but I want it there for the extra protection. So yeah, let's go grab some stair blocks real quick and see what kind of stairs we can put in there. I'm not sure what would look good next to that cyan. Uh, let's see, that's cool. Um, thinking, let's see, wood maybe? I've been using a lot of dark oak. I love the look of dark oak in this ship, but I don't think it would look good next to that. Um, we've got birch, we've got oak. Huh. We could also do... Oh, I know what color would look good now. Um, prismarine. I know I have ocean stuff somewhere. Cyan, under the sea. K57. All right. We gotta find the cyan box. K57. I think I have two of them. So, let's pull those out. There we go. We've got some prismarine right off the bat. All right. Let's make stair blocks out of you and we will see how that looks oh I think that'll look really cool let's see I forgot that you can make prismarine stairs now oh that is so neat and it kind of ties in because some of the purple matches this room so I definitely like this we're yeah this is what we're gonna go with can we uh, turn the stairs so it's kind of fancy go that'll work I like that all right that looks really awesome all right now we got to figure out what we're gonna do in this room for lighting I'm not gonna break all the torches yet just maybe a few um, see I don't know if I'm gonna put doors here yet so if I put doors I'll put lighting right here uh, where's the cyan Oh, that cyan looks perfect. Okay, so we have an entryway. We need some lighting on this one over here. I would like to put a doorway here. Um, oh, I just thought of something too. Let's see how this looks. Maybe? Um, maybe not. What if we just did like this that looks kind of cool all right and then we'll put the door in there um oh, I'd love an iron door I wonder if we could do an iron door let's go down here the only bad thing is I have to keep running all the way downstairs to get to all of my stuff I believe I have iron doors in here and do we want buttons or levers? We're going to go with buttons. Maybe. There we go. I don't know. Well, let's try both and see which one looks better. There we go. I don't have the space. I wish I had the space that I could put in some kind of redstone to um, have it look like it's uh connect or have it connected you know all right so maybe on this side we have buttons there we go and on this side a lever i like that i really do like that so if we have it closed then we can still Oh, open it with a button on the outside um, but if it's closed like you know you can't get through this side so 
you have to flip the switch. I kind of like that. So, like, let's keep, like, one open and one closed. So, it just kind of looks like somebody's about to walk through. Kind of cool. All right. So, lighting. Still, what are we going to do in here? Now, down in the room below this, I actually did a giant K on the floor. Because I had no idea what to put for the lighting. I, I've had some issues with that. I, I've definitely done gotten very creative with my light sources here <laughs> lately. So let's go ahead and break all these torches and see if we can't find a nice... Uh, that got very dark quick. <laughs> Pull one over here too, just in case. <laughs> Alright, um, let's find some kind of pattern we can do maybe. Um, hmm. Let's see. Can I do this? Something like this, maybe? Usually if I do these big patterns, it lights up the entire room. I don't have to worry about it. So I'm just going to go for it and see. Um... The only bad thing is it, it's hard to build with these patterns um, because you gotta got to like weave in and out of them and stuff like that. And there's not always a whole lot of room. Okay, that's really, really cool. So let's try this. Looks like we're going to need more lamps. So get my light box out here. There we go. All right, let's try this again. Yeah. There we go. Okay, we've got all our scene lanterns placed. Now I'm probably going to need some more going that way. Um, let me check this whole area here. Let's see... I have one nine, and that's it. Yeah, so this whole area is lit up, but over here, I'm thinking, yeah, not so much. I even hit a seven. So maybe if we go like this. Oh, why do I keep putting that in my offhand? Ah! Nope. All right. Something like this. There we go. End it out right here in the corner. Nice. Ah! In my face. Alright. There we go. Alright. Let's see. That looks really cool. I actually really like that. Now let's go ahead and put carpets on top of all of this. We're probably going to make some more car carpets. Yeah. We do. And we need more wool. And I need my dye box. Okay. I have some cyan dye. Let's try and make 24. See how many that gets us. There we go. All right. There we are. Oh, I can get rid of that torch now. <laughs> oh, I need like two more. Seriously. Um, there we go. Ta da! Okay, let's check the light levels just in case. Oh, there we go. I'm like wall hugging here just so that I can make sure. Oh, there's an eight there, and I gotta break this torch. So, is that gonna take it down into a seven? It is. Alright, so maybe we need another little space right here. There. Okay. 
once again, grab some more wool. Okay. Oh. What am I doing? There we go. Alright, let's do this again. Check the light levels. I think we're good. I think we're good. I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, I might die in here. <laughs> um, this like little space right here just worries me so bad. So I think what we might do is just something like this, maybe. Maybe we don't need these here. Um, and we'll just bring it out this way. Ah! There we go. Okay, let's see if that works. That's going to take care of this side, but what about over here? I've got like one little spot that is a nine, but nine should be okay. I think. <laughs> I really hope. All right, we need two or what? Oh, I put the die away. Okay. There we go. That that. All right, this is the only spot that worries me right here is the nine, but I'm pretty sure nine is okay. So, hopefully. Oh, and I missed a spot right here. There we go. All right, let's check it again. Make sure it looks okay and doesn't look crazy. It does kind of look crazy. But hey, that's me, so whatever. Um, that is an awful lot of carpeting that's not gonna work guys because we're gonna have to like put stuff in here at some point yeah I don't know I'm starting to think maybe I need to just carpet the whole room so that way it doesn't look crazy I don't know we'll, we'll come back to this room we'll, we will come back to this room because I have no idea now what I want to put in here and um yeah that Right now, it's not looking the greatest, so we'll come back. That's fine. We'll come back. All right, so for now, that is absolutely done. Uh, we've got to still fill stuff in and figure out what we're going to put in that room. And we need a doorway right here, maybe. Um, I might just leave it open. I kind of like it like that. I don't know. We'll think on that one. We'll think on that. Now, this room here, um, I'm not really sure. I'm thinking maybe this needs to be like an emergency supply room. Because, you know, we've got the map room right here, the escape hatch right here. Maybe we need an emergency supply room where we can run in, grab some stuff, and get out as quickly as possible. If the submarine is sinking, we need to be able to grab supplies very quickly. So I think that's what we're going to work on next time is we're going to make like an escape room here. Um, like, no, not an escape room, escape room, but like, you know what I mean? Like a emergency supply room here. So yeah, if we need to get out in a hurry, we'll have all the supplies ready for us. So I'm going to gather up some supplies and next time we will work on this. And we also need to figure out what we're going to put in that room. We just, yeah. Destroyed with carpets, but whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button down below. If you haven't already, then please do subscribe so you can see more awesome videos like this one. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.